guys welcome back to another speed build innocence 4 i am kiko builds and for today's video i'm welcoming you to the old shack restaurant so as the name says it it's a little restaurant that was built into an old kind of house or an old shack and we are here in strangerville how this little build came about is that I run a little poll on Twitter and my Twitter followers have decided or decided that I should build a community lot and then I run a second lot, a second poll where they had to choose between the different community lot types and they chose a restaurant or a cafe. So I decided to build a, a restaurant and uh, for the world and the lot, I just um, kind of did a random generator, random generator number um, to actually be able to choose the lot, so the lot and the world. So randomly, um, I landed on Strangerville and on this particular lot here, and I was very happy with it. And that's exactly this lot and this world that inspired me to build this type of restaurant. So I think it goes very well to the surrounding we have. We are next to, I think, uh, Town Square. It's a quaint little neighborhood with houses that are sh a little shabby. And uh, yeah, it's. I think it, it looks like it's a very old neighborhood and people who don't have a lot of money. So I really wanted to um, have this lot really blend in with its surroundings so that's why I wanted to I got inspired to build this old shack restaurant so in this whole track restaurant you know it's like those picturesque restaurants that you can find uh, you can stumble upon in the countryside or in an old town and that are not really on the tourists um, radars and but the people of the place they know it's a good place they know it's a good food and it's a good atmosphere and ambience i really wanted it to be convivial i also gave the lots the tr convivial trait it's really homey as well and yeah that's what i had in mind for this little restaurant old shack restaurant here to me the owner of this place is old uh, he started this when he was young back then he didn't have a lot of money and he started this and he kept it and um, Yeah, and as you also can see at the front of the restaurant I placed the bar that came with werewolves. That's um, an old carcass of um, a carcass of an old bus Yes, I think uh, Is it a double-decker desk? Yes, that's actually a double-decker desk and uh, Where you can put a bar in and it this item came with um werewolves and i really really love this item i think it's so cool and i've never had the chance to use it in any build and i thought this was the perfect opportunity to actually place it on the build and on the lot and for the little story here for the owner has this friend had this friend from the beginning and who was about to do and he asked him if he wanted to actually come and collaborate with him with his restaurant so the owner placed the still bar here they didn't have any money so they did with what they had and yeah so the clients that are bring that i brought by the restaurant go to the bar also the clients that are brought to the bar go to the restaurant so it's a very nice and good collaboration and friendship between the two owners over the years so that's a little story behind us <laughs> so as this is a little kind of run down um build run down house i didn't want the landscaping to be too sophisticated as you can see i'm building like a a backyard here not really a backyard but this is next to the kitchen the door that you're seeing is the kitchen here i placed the werewolves um fences and uh, we have here the garbage uh, disposal the garbage bin we have an old fridge that was broken a long time ago and that the owner one always wanted to fix but he hasn't he didn't fix um and yeah <laughs> a lot of weed growing here and there because obviously it's not well kept uh but it's it makes it's all the charm of this little place here and that people really love and the um, 
the residents of Strangerville and this particular neighborhood love spending time here um, and I also placed this little game I don't remember the name of the game where they play with shoe horses and that came with outdoors retreats and I placed it it's like a little entertainment for the guests and uh, for the, the guests who come here and for the clients I also placed a little bonfire um, that came with the little campers kit I if I'm not mistaken in front of the, the restaurant where I placed some seats there around it so this place is really homey and convivial I really wanted it to be a place that people enjoy I had the chance to play in it because I I've obviously play test all my builds and I had a blast playing in this build I really love the vibe um, I hope you will love the vibe tell me down below if you like the vibe of these little um, little builds little builds like that like look a little shabby a little rundown and and worn I really love it so a lot of the things that I used in this build are come uh, are from the werewolves pack the roof cover is from the werewolf pack where you have all the moss growing on top of it um, the walls the wallpaper inside and outside are also from werewolves because we have a lot of things in werewolves that look run down and and worn and broken kind of <laughs> so i i used a lot of the things that come from werewolves the table the rectangular tables as well that you will see in this will come from werewolves the chairs all the chairs come from werewolves the little um i placed also some small round tables um they actually come with um cats and dogs but i thought they fit it perfectly in this style the flooring the uh, wooden floor that i placed here it's not from werewolves but i don't remember what it came with maybe i don't know <laughs> maybe the base game maybe um what's the name of this bag um cottage living but i'm not too sure I'm not quite sure for the interior how you were seeing now you are seeing the um, toilets the restrooms I also took some very very old looking and wooden made toilets and <laughs> they I think they came with uh, it in the in a debug menu and I think they are actually wooden toilets that your sims can build on the woodworking table um, the sink that I placed also inside those um, restrooms are from eco lifestyle I thought they fitted perfectly with the style unfortunately the things that came with dine out they don't look worn they look like new <laughs> so I couldn't do um, anything else you know I couldn't do without uh, but they I tried to find the swatches that went best like the waiter station that you can see on the right hand side of the screen and also the I think it's what what's the name of this um, the other it, the other station I think it's the host station yes um, I tried to find the swatches that blended well with the inside um, and also obviously the chef station is brand new <laughs> but yeah so um, they have to have obviously maybe the explanation would be that they have to have something that is that they put money in you know like the chef station it has to be to be perfect because we need to have good food for the good food clean food cleanliness for the um the customers <laughs> yeah but anyways uh little paintings that you saw as well inside are from strangerville uh, so they are pictures of the scenery in Strangerville, so it goes perfectly with where the, the lodge is placed, I mean the restaurant is placed. Here I'm just furnishing the kitchen and I will place, I place those um, um, counters, kitchen counters and also the fridge. They came with the, what's the name of this pack? City Living Pack and they are actually the one that looks really really worn and um kind of broken a little so they went perfectly with what i wanted with this uh this build i also placed the sink that came with um 
dine out and yeah i'm playing some placing some clutters here and there in the kitchen to make it really lived in and yeah i think that's it for uh this video i mean you will have a little bit a little bit more coming up uh, but we are almost at the we are almost at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed um, building this, and I really really enjoyed playing in it as well. I hope you will really enjoy it if you actually download it. Hope you enjoyed the video as well. Um, the build will be available uh, to download as usual under my ad kiko underscore builds on the gallery you can also follow me on my social medias i'm kiko builds on there and hope to see you next time for my next video and in the meantime take care bye <laughs>